what we're going to be doing is we're, our quick agenda is we're going to introduce myself, just talk about what we're going to do today. And then we're going to go to Tinkercad and learn how to use the software. And then we'll talk about Thingiverse. And then we'll share some resources that you can use just to practice before the hackathon. So to start off, uh, my name is Sharad. I'm 14 years old, and I'll be your instructor for today. So let's get out of our PowerPoint and let's head over to Tinkercad. So Tinkercad is an online software that basically you can build your 3D product. It's not very complicated. That's what I love about it. So while we, once you create your own profile, click on Create New Design. And then you will have a work plane load. And in this work plane, there's a lot of things you can do. The first thing is, so up here on the left, you'll see design. If you click on design, you can duplicate objects, which I'll show you how to do. You can save your design, and we'll eventually get to download for 3D printing. In edit, you can copy, paste, duplicate, and delete your objects. And then you have help if you still need some help and you want to watch some tutorial videos. You can totally do that. Uh, I do recommend that you have a mouse for this. It will make everything so much easier on how to do things. Over here, you'll see your undo and your redo. And your undo and redo is basically if you make a mistake, you undo it. And if you want something that you undid, uh, you just click redo and you get it back. Adjust is for aligning things. So per se, you have two objects that are in different places, but you want them right next to each other in the same line. Then you click align and then you Click and then eventually those two objects would align with each other. Group and ungroup here are awesome. They take two objects and if they're touching already and you want them to become one object, you click group and then they become one object. Then over here on the right, you'll see your column. It'll have a lot of shapes, which is awesome. And these are shapes that Tinkercad has previously made and has given to your disposal. So up here in geometric, you have Boxes, cylinders, pyramids, basically anything you can use. And from there you can make basically anything. Up here you have import, which I will show you how to use. And then favorites is only used when you go to shape generators and you click on community. These objects are things that other people have already made that are complicated, like a twisty ring. And if you click the little star in the corner, it should become a favorite and it'll pop it right up here. Then you, it's easy to find for you, and it'll always be there. Um, down here, you'll see you have another work plane and a ruler, and this comes really handy. So why don't we take a ruler and put it down in the corner, and you'll see how it'll affect us in a little bit. At the very bottom, if you scroll all the way down, you'll get to your letters, and letters are super handy. You can fill your name, any words. You can really do whatever you want. Just go down, you'll see some more symbols. You also have numbers, which is super great. Thank you, Tinkercad. So why don't we start working on something? Uh, let's see here. Let's go, go to Google Images and let's search up a Minecraft cave. Okay, so we have lots of options here. Let's just take one of the first ones that we see. How about this one? This will be our image, our little design that we're going to recreate. So we'll go back to Tinkercad, and here we're going to scroll back up to our box. We're going to click on it and drag it onto our work point, and we'll just drop it there. And as you can see, lots of numbers have appeared, which is great because then you know exactly what's happening. So before we start creating our Minecraft pig, you might want to know how do you use the software. So on your mouse, you'll see that you have a left clicker, uh, a right click, and then you have your scroll wheel. If you click on your left, left click, you can create a bounding box that will select multiple objects. So let's say I have two objects. I create a bounding box around both. They'll both be selected. Um, my scroll wheel will zoom me out and zoom me back in as I go back and forth. And then my right click will rotate me around a center point. Like that. Next, um, on the scroll wheel, there is a hidden feature which I love. And if you press down on your scroll wheel, you can move your center to a different place. So instead of it being right there, I can put my center right on my box. 
but I can just mainly focus on my box. And now let's click on the Minecraft pig, or the box for now. As you can see, the dimensions on this is 20 by 20 by 20, which is pretty small actually because each number, each number here is in millimeters. And down here in the snap grid, you can, when you move your object, you can move it either by clicking on your left click and moving it around, or with your arrow keys, which is really helpful. But if you want to move it by even a smaller distance, you click on your snap grid, and you can go to 0.25 millimeters, which will move a tiny amount, or you can go to even 0.1. But if you want to move it big amounts, you click on the 5 millimeters, and it'll really push it around. So let's go back to our 1 millimeter. It's kind of the most common one, and it's really easy to use. So next, if we look at our Minecraft pig, the Minecraft pig has a head and its body and four legs. So let's work on the head first. So the Minecraft pig's head is mainly a square, a cube, with an, a smaller like, rectangle for the nose. So as we go into Kindercad, uh, let's take, we're going to need two boxes, one for the nose, one for the head. In this box, we can make it shorter by clicking on this little white box at the very top. You can push that down to 5 millimeters, and that'll work. And then it also is not the same size as the box, so we need to push it over. So we'll take the, the black one on the side, and we'll push it over to create our nose. There we go. So now it's a 5 by 8 by 20 box. And again, it doesn't have to be 20. So instead of actually using the little cube and pushing it around like this, we are going to take our, we're going to click on one of the numbers, and we can just retype in maybe three, three millimeters, and it'll make it smaller for us, which is perfect. So now we are here. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift our view, use our scroll wheel to move our center, and you're going to move your smaller cube to the left, so then it'll be in the center. And now to get the nose into the middle, you'll left click, select everything, so then you create your bounding box. You're going to click adjust, align, and you are going to click on the middle one right here. And it'll make sure that your smaller box is right in the center. And then we'll dismiss our align tool at the bottom. And then we will zoom back in. Next what we're going to do is we're going to click on what happened here. Okay, so we're going to click on our smaller box. And right above it, there will be a small little black cone-shaped arrow. And we're going to click on that. And that will bring our box up into the air. The next step is we are going to group everything. If you want to click your left and left it a clicker, and you're going to click on select everything with the bounding box. And then you're going to go, and ha go ahead and click group. And that will make both of these objects are now one object, which is awesome. But then again, it doesn't really look like a Minecraft pig. I think you might need the Minecraft pig color, which is a pig. So you'll select your object, kind of like this, click on color, and then we're going to click on the light pink. So that doesn't look like Minecraft pig. It's kind of more of a reddier pink, a little bit more red involved. So we'll do custom. And we'll move this up a little, maybe like right about there. That looks better. Might still be a little too pink. Something along these lines is what the Minecraft pig looks like. So next we will go ahead and make it smaller. So how we're going to do that is in the corner, once we click on the head, is a little box. And we're going to use that and we're going to make our object just a little bit smaller. And if you click shift while you do this, it'll scale it in perfect um, perfect proportions. And then you won't lose your shape. So that is our Minecraft big head. So now what we're going to do is we take another box. And this box is going to be the body. So you'll drag it and you'll put it right next to the head. Then select everything using the left click to make the bounding box. 
Click color to make sure it's all the same color. And then now we'll select everything again. We'll go to adjust and align. And then we'll make sure our head and the body is all aligned with each other. Perfect. Okay, so now you can see that the head and the, is in the middle of the body. But if you look at the Minecraft pig, the head is actually above the body. And the body is also a rectangle. It's not a cube. So first let's make that a, make that a longer by using this little black one, this little black box in the middle. And we'll pull that out. So now we have a rectangle. And then we will click on our cube and we'll push it up using a little black arrow. And now it'll be closer to the Minecraft pig. But we are getting there. Though this cube in the background, the, the big stomach cube, is a little big now. It seems a little out of proportion. So what we're going to do is we are going to click shift and we're going to click on one of the corner boxes and scale it down in proportion. Now that is our cube. And now it looks a little better in size. Now they're not connected, so we'll move it with our mouse so that they are touching again. Select everything, adjust, and align, and then we'll center it all, and then we should be good to go. That looks a lot better. Eventually, you could go ahead and add the toes, but I do want to show you one thing before we leave. So, right here, the nostrils on the pig are going to be inwards. So, what we're going to do is, because we want a small hole in the nostrils, we need to make two perfect small little cubes. So go ahead and press shift and make your box, make, make your cube or box one millimeter by one millimeter by one millimeter. And then something that's really cool about Tinkercad is you, you can't, you're not, you're not limited to just a building. You can also take away um, a part of your object. So for say, let's make another object on the side here. Um, we'll take a cylinder and a pyramid. So most people would say, so you can group this. That's great. And it'll make one object. So now this is just one object that will move together. But how about if you wanted to get rid of part, this bottom edge, because then it'll fit better. You click, on, you click on your yellow part, the one that you want to take away. You click hole. And then the gray part is the part that you're going to get rid of. And then when you select all of it, you click group, and then let it load, and then that part is gone. And that's your new shape. And it does not have, and it has a hole in it. So now let's move this to the side. We'll come back to that later. And we will move on to our Minecraft pig. Take this little nose, and we're going to make it a hole. So now we have a hole, and then we're going to click on the nose again, click Edit, and Duplicate. And it'll load a little. And then when it duplicates, it'll duplicate in the same exact spot. So you just need to move it over a little. And once you have that, select all of it. And you're going to put it in the middle of the nose. And then select both of your noses, nostrils, and bring them up into the air. So they look like they're going to hit the nose. So now you can see they are in the same level as the nose. But the thing is now, they aren't touching the nose. So what we have to do is we will select both of them. I'm going to use my keypad, my left arrow. I'm going to push them in. So now my hole is inside of the nostril, as you can see. And I just want to center it, so let's get them over just a little. And to make it more exact, let's go to our snap grid, make it 0.25. And you can just push it down just a little bit. And up one, that looks a lot better. And then, and now let's select everything and click group. Let's see what that does. We can finally breathe. Awesome. So from here, 
you could eventually go ahead and make your legs and make this an awesome pig. But instead, I will show you a little cheat sheet that you can use, and that might help you a lot in time saving. Go ahead and type in thing iverse.com. And Thingiverse, a digital collection of 3D printable files. So when you go to Thingiverse, you can print any of the files that they provide. So what we want to do is, and it's all free. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our search bar and type in Minecraft pig. And a lot of options come up. And you can see some that have already been 3D printed, some that some people are even holding, and just some that are just designs. So let's find a pig that we like. Um, I am kind of feeling for, let's see, let's go back up to the top. This pig, Minecraft pig rounded. So here, it looks like a really cool pig. It's also been liked 28 times. And let's go to Thing Files. And you really don't need all of this stuff, but you just need the pig.stl. You click on it, and as you can see, it downloaded. So I'm going to go back to Tinkercad, zoom out a little, and this is where we're going to use our import. You can either import using a URL or a file. Today we're going to use a file. You could choose file. I'm going to go to my downloads, uh, open this up a little, and I'm going to look for my Minecraft pig. pig. And there it is. So double click on that. And then right here, it will pop up saying that it has found the file. And we don't, never really want it 100% because that will be really big. Instead, let's go with 80%. And because we are designing in millimeters, so let's keep it on millimeters. And we'll click Import. Give it a few moments, and it should load. And whoa. Sometimes these files don't come out perfect, as you can see. And that is because the file was not made in Tinkercad. It was made in a 3D modeling software. So let's try it again with a different pig. Maybe this one will turn out better. I hope you guys are having a great time learning how to use Tinkercad. Comment if you have any questions, and then we can go ahead and help you. Let's try this pig. Any file. There it is. Let's use this one. So it's called Minecraft Pig SDL. And when you are using Tinkercad, if you ever want to upload a file, it has to be a, um, an STL or an OBJ. Okay, so now let's import 80% and let's hopefully it works. Oh, there it is. Perfect. We got our pig color. Okay, the pig color. And now we have a done pig and a pig in progress. So as you can see, this pig turned out really good. And if you aren't willing to spend the time to create your own customized thing, you can always get someone else's thing that they created for you. And then that's about it. So now that we have made our pig, I've kind of showed you how to use Tinkercad so that next time you'll be more successful and at the hackathon. We're going to go to Mela.com, so M-E-Y-L-H.com, and then we're going to do a forward slash and then 3C. And these will give you some resources that you can use. And then if you click on products up top, you can just look at all the products that we have. So we do have right now two free resources. It's a free Tinkercad keyboard shortcut resource. So if you're always willing to save some time, go ahead, download the files, and you can see some shortcuts that might be able to make things align, group, and just do things faster. You can also download the free 3D printing workbook. And that has the design process, and it just kind of teaches you how to uh, create your own 3D products. That has a very good design with little problems. So go ahead and do that. Other than that, I would say thank you so much for joining me today. And go ahead and watch any of the other parts of the clinic that you missed so that you can either review or learn 